This video is powered by cardmarket.com. Hey, this is Jabber here. Can we do an opening? The 11th set ever created. The Ancient Sanctuary Booster Packs. Super excited about cracking something. Actually, one of my favorite arts on the booster pack. I just really like how they did the, the color combo on here with Yugi. Just a little different from all the other ones. Our polls so far have been absolutely outstanding. This is part of our uh, first 20 sets of Yu-Gi-Oh! Marathon. So uh, stay tuned for that. If you've missed if you've missed any of the other ones, uh, they're on the channel, so you can check them out. You know, LOB all the way through. So it's going to be really, really epic. And so far, we've had some incredible luck on our openings. And hopefully that'll continue over today. If you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe and bell for more. And on that, let's get cracking. All right, well... Let's see what we have. We have uh, six packs here of this. Let's check this out. First booster pack. The first 20 sets of Yu-Gi-Oh! If you have suggestions for other openings, I'm open ears for it. Always trying to mix it up and change it up as, as always. <laughs> the Kickman. Spell of Economic Tennis. What does it make you say? You don't have to pay life points to activate a spell card? You don't have to pay any life points to activate a spell card. That is a pretty cool card. It's been used in other decks back in the day. Scorpion. <laughs> Labyrinth of Nightmare. <laughs> That's cool. Alright. So, uh, so our second booster pack. of our first 20 sets of Yu-Gi-Oh! Marathon. Gonna be having a big move day here coming up actually pretty soon. My friend uh, Dylan who uh, does the editing for these videos and whatnot, make them look all beautiful. Of course it's me like hovering in the background making sure, what are you doing there? Uh, he'll be moving to go to college so let me uh, help him get settled into his new place and everything here very soon. Jiu-Jitsu Art Transformation. It'll be about a uh, two, two and a half hour drive away, so it's not too bad. I'm gonna go, still go and visit him and whatnot. All right, for our third booster pack. I didn't drop anything there. <laughs> Gosh. That's cool. I like that kind of reminds me of like the mummy or something. <laughs> so right here. And talk about the mummy. I was having the weirdest dream last night. It almost seemed like it was like the zombie apocalypse. It was very strange. And what I learned out of that dream is that I'm going to be cool as a cucumber during a zombie apocalypse. I was actually like not panicked at all. It was bizarre. Yeah, we were, we, it's like I was in a car. I think it was with some friends and we were driving. And it was like the railroad tracks are like way above or we're driving by them. And it was just, they're just full. And then we ended up driving up onto a, just a herd of zombies. And uh, yeah, it, <laughs> we... They, I forgot who it was that was driving, one of my friends, and they were uh, getting panicked. I just told them to, like, put the car in reverse, just reverse as far as you, as fast as you can, and then uh, once you get a little bit of distance, then turn around. That's what we did. It seemed like we ended up being inside of a house. And I kind of like, it was like, I uh, locked that door, locked the bedroom door, then got into a bathroom and closed myself in there. And my next game plan was, uh, I was going to start uh, making a hole through the wall. To get myself, it seemed it seemed like there was like a gap between the wall and the outside to be able to be able to get inside there. Then I just woke up, <laughs> woke up to a bunch of phone calls actually uh, from my from my mom. Her her starter went out in her car. I think she not sure. Maybe the battery could have the battery could have died, and uh, so she was calling me to bring her over to work. 
So that was how my day started. How was your day? <laughs> It's probably because I had some NyQuil, the, these little NyQuil pills. I was feeling a little under the weather yesterday. I thought I was getting sick, so I took some NyQuil to help me sleep. Oh, nice. The Emissary of the Afterlife. Super rare. Right on. So, actually, this is one of the cards I was run, I ran a deck with a long time ago, and it coupled with that card, Jerry Beans, man. So, these, this is almost like a Sangan. It was a level 3 or lower normal monster. Uh, so... Way back in the day, running cards like Gravekeeper Spy and stuff like that to be able to get field presence and trim enough for like Zaborg or Mobius, Thessalus, things like that. The old school monarchs, it was, it was huge because all it was is tempo back in the day. So I ran cards like this in there. So if they attacked over it, I would be able to add monsters to my hand. And if they didn't, I could swing with it and then trim them off and whatnot. I ran, I ran the spies and everything. It was really cool. I uh, actually did uh, main, I main deck these with Jerry Beans, man. And then... Um, if you had something Apache, he was uh, level 3 with 2100 de defense, so it was just like little targets with it. It was really cool. I forgot the entire, all the concept, but I ended up running, I I believe at that point, Mirror Force was still banned. So I ran this other one with where you could control a normal monster. Your opponent declares an attack, destroy all, basically it's Mirror Force. They attack when you're a normal monster, so it was really cool to be able to do that. Uh, it, was a really, it was a really fun concept, and I ended up winning... Went on a couple of locals with it. I think I only played it like two or three times. I was one of those people where I just kept rotating decks all the time whenever I could, just switching it up. Me and my friends would uh, would do that. It was a lot of fun. But yeah, basically like a Sangin type monster, Emissary of the Afterlife. It's really cool. It was a, it's a fun concept. Actually, I'm going to keep one of these packs. I'm going to try to keep one of each. I like them. So we did end up pulling one foil, so we have been on a roll on the on getting the foils, so that's been really cool. The Grave Protector. So we ended up pulling one foil. One out of six, it's not bad. Wall revealing light. Very cool. The light of judgment. That's actually a pretty cool looking card. <laughs> Alright, so uh, we shall and will do a recap of all these common cards. Wall of Revealing Light, that was a card they ran in an old school FTK deck. What was it? Um, last turn. It's the last turn deck. Trap card. Yeah, combo with this and you bring your life points down. You have a Jogan on the field and you're supposed to special summon a monster, but you're the only person that has a monster. So you end up winning because of that. So it was really a really, really, really old combo deck. It's actually pretty neat to watch it. And all the specific rules and everything they had for it. Eventually they just got rid of it because <laughs> it's just kind of bad for the game, but Beckadine Light there. It's pretty cool. The Ancient Sanctuary. Mystic Walk. Protector of the Sanctuary. There's some really cool commons here. It's, it's kind of neat you see them because you've seen these kind of those kind of cards in different decks throughout the the many many years this card game has been around makes it really interesting and fun metal armed bug I think we ran that and uh, the device FTK or OTK deck it couldn't be FTK OTK <laughs> they need to have a turn build to attack but yeah all right those are all of our commons, and we'll go through these beautiful rares that we ended up pulling. A grave Protector. That's actually a pretty cool zombie card. The zombie deck has always been one of my favorite decks to play. I loved it because of the Book of Life. I love I loved the cards you could like use to reborn. I remember running a deck way back when I was able to run. Uh, you can run one Call of the Haunted, one Premature Barrel, one Monster Born, three Book of Life in one deck. It was amazing, and. Um, that deck was just nuts with the pot of green crystal chair and everything way back when that was a uh, it was way way too much fun but always loved it and we got our emissary of the afterlife super rare super awesome looking card love it love the reaper in there 
and I had had to build a deck around it way back in the day. Successfully did it. That was a blast. Won a couple of tournaments. Yeah, so the An Ancient Sanctuary Booster Pack opened. So stay tuned for uh, more of these openings, obviously. I'm going to post them every uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I try to mix up Monday and Tuesday if I have like a cool mail day or a collection opening, something like that. And I am going to try to figure out to figure out a cool way to do some vlogs and whatnot. Can't do them too often because it takes a little bit of time to get those things edited up and everything. But I'm going to try to make some super epic ones coming up. So stay tuned for more openings. Thank you guys so much for watching. And on that, Jobber here is signing out.